YouTube, it's your boy the Franchise Guy, coming back at you again, another episode of Madden 19 Franchise Mode, featuring the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the Los Angeles Chargers, question mark, I guess, and the Super Bowl 53 in Atlanta, and uh, funny story speaking on this Super Bowl, so I'm in college right now, I go to Rowan University, that's why my, my career player went to Rowan University for Madden 19, well, I was supposed to have this one professor for my sports broadcasting class, well, uh, within the last week, there was a conflict with his schedule and this class, so they switched it up. They made, they switched, so he didn't have to teach his class anymore, his Monday night class. So, they put another professor in, in charge. I have never had a professor before. Uh, the professor that uh, I was supposed to have, I took, I've taken him already. He was a really nice guy, I really enjoyed taking his class. I thought I would take him again, because that's usually what junior professor should like. Well, I get to class today, and the professor who was originally supposed to teach a class, strolls in and he's like, hey, uh, I'm not your real teacher anymore, uh, I have a conflict with this class and this and that. Well, it turns out that the teacher that was supposed to be teaching this class, uh, this teacher now, is actually got sent to Atlanta to cover the Super Bowl and the school didn't realize this until after they officially switched teachers. So then the teacher who couldn't cover the class had to cover the class anyway. And I guess I just, I thought that's pretty funny. I thought that was, you know, a fun little story to tell going into the Super Bowl. But uh, my dream Super Bowl for the Super Bowl, honestly, honest to God, I wanted the Super Bowl since, you know, week one of the playoffs. If my Philadelphia Eagles didn't get in, I wanted if my my dream playoffs would have been uh, Chargers Eagles. That's my dream Super Bowl right there. Dream Super Bowl. That's that's the playoff. That's the Super Bowl I wanted since day one. As soon as you know the playoffs start, team I wanted. After the Eagles lost to the Saints, off that Alshon Jeffrey. Um, also, after the Austin Jeffrey drop, I, you know, you always have backups. Uh, it was, uh, who was it? It was, um, it was Saints Chargers. That was my next wannabe, uh, go to, I guess, uh, team for the you know, Super Bowl. That'd been a great, that'd been a great Super Bowl. Drew Brees, Philip Rivers. I mean, the man who replaced Drew Brees. Taking on Drew Brees in a Super Bowl, I mean that's that's insane. Well then, the and then the Chargers decided to figure out how to play offense and defense in the same game, and uh, the the Patriots steamrolled them, making it a Patriots Chiefs AFC Championship game. Uh, the Eagles lost to the Saints. Uh, the Cowboys, thankfully lost to the Rams, so then it was a Rams, uh, what was it, Rams, Saints, NFC, so yeah, between those four teams, I thought the coolest one probably would, pro honestly, Brady vs. Breeze, Brady Breeze, that would have been a great Super Bowl, I mean, it's just two figureheads, two faces of the NFL, Going at it, one going for his second ring, one going for his sixth ring. I mean, that's just a great storyline right there. Uh, problem is, the uh, the refs, the officiating crew, decided that they didn't want to throw a flag for once. I mean, I've seen Michael Bennett get penalized for getting pushed into the quarterback. Literally pushed into the quarterback. He got a roughing the passer call. Who was the guy for the Chiefs? D. Ford got a roughing the passer call for slapping Tom Brady on the arm. 
Shrewsley. Oh, he hit him in the face mask. I mean, he, he was a little rough in the passer. He love tapped him. There was a tiny little tap. But yeah, I mean, I just, I didn't want Andy Reid to win. I wanted the Patriots to beat the Chiefs. I didn't want Andy Reid to win. I can't stand Andy Reid. There's, in the history of the NFL, since the Super Bowl has been inducted, there has been three 21-point losses blown at halftime. Three of them. Two of them are held by Andy Reid. One was last year in the playoffs, and one was with the Eagles. We lost, I think, to the Bucks. The year the Bucks won the Super Bowl. I think that was the year they blew a 21-point lead. I think. Maybe not. But I don't I don't even know what's happening anymore with this game, with this, with this football season. I mean, honestly... I'm I'm waiting for baseball season. I'm I'm waiting for MLB the show to come out. I'm waiting to you know see if Bryce Harper and Manny Machado signs with the Phillies. I mean I can't wait for that game to come out. You know it's gonna be some new content on the channel. It's gonna be you know it's gonna be a my career mode. It's gonna be a franchise mode. It's just gonna be a lot of fun content. I mean personally, uh, I would definitely love to do this full time. To do YouTube full time, um, that's just my dream right there. To you know, be able to wake up and you know, have a set schedule. Be like, oh, I'm doing you know this this week. I'm doing this next week, and I'm doing this for this day and this this day and this this day. And you know, be able to stream and be able to do YouTube. You know, instead of go to college, instead of trying to do all that. That's personally what my dream is right there. Is it likely going to happen? Probably not. Not for a long minute. But 35 subscribers, you know. I'm trying to get this daily upload thing back in gear. I mean, I was sick. I had finals. And that just threw the whole... A whole, you know, a whole wrench in the... A whole wrench in the gear right there. And especially with, you know, getting upload. That thing, every time I think I'm about to get everything, you know set where I can upload every every day consistently some days two uploads some days just most days most just one uh, some days there's two episodes Mondays and Wednesdays there are two uploads a day there's one at 12 one at two but yeah besides the point you know Darren Sproles in this game have a great game I mean Darren Sproles I think is trying to come back next season I don't think he I mean, I know he didn't want to go out on injury like he did last year, the broken arm and torn ACL. I know he didn't want to do that. That was everyone respected him for that. Everyone's like, "All right, you you can do that." And then he pulled his hamstring, and then was out for like 12 weeks. And then he's like, "I want to come back again." I mean, hopefully the Eagles bring him back. I mean, there's no reason they shouldn't. I mean, this Eagles team with and without Darren Sproles is just Two different teams. It really is two different teams. I mean, you have a player who can run the ball, you have a player who can catch the ball, how elusive he is. I mean, Corey Clement is like a discount Darren Sproles, and by discount, I mean discount Darren Sproles. But I'm also looking forward to Jordan Mulata next year. He's expected to actually play next season. Um, Mulata is more of a was he was supposed to be a as they put it he was supposed to be a um a practice squad body and then how well he performed during the preseason and in camps uh they felt that if they were to leave him on the practice squad he would have been signed by another team so they snatched him away pretty much on you know the injury report on their 53 man roster i mean it's a fair it's fair i mean could they have used a big fullback, a big, you know, left tackle? Probably. I mean, but they got the job done. Jason Pierce stayed healthy for the most part. Uh, big V, I mean, had a regression from, you know, he went back to French rookie Big V. Hate to see that happen, especially to a player who was having a really good season. He, he was ranked really poorly by Pro Football Focus, but then came out. And had actually like a really good quality season, especially after Jason Peters, you know, uh, tore. I forget what he tore in his arm. I think it was his bicep in his arm, but he was done for the season. 
and you know Big V has step in. I mean, I don't think Big V has really played even at all in this season in this you know franchise. But I know he played uh, weeks week 17 with Nick Foles. You know, he went out instead of Jason Peters after the first drive, just you know, prevent injuries. I'd rather you know Big V go down with an injury opposed to uh, Jason Peters in that game. We got Darren Sproles, 17 carries, 96 yards, just under six yards a carry. Hand his ball off to Jordan Milano, the big fullback. Two rushes, three yards, and a touchdown for him on the day. First and ten. Kind of fires ball over to Mike Wallace. Look at that. That's another name that really hurt Eagles this year. They brought Mike Wallace in to be that stretch receiver to pretty much be what Torrey Smith wasn't last year. And then he tore and then he broke his fibula. Week two of the season, he broke his fibula, and it was done for the season. You know, Mike Wallace, Matt Collins, you know, Richard Rodgers even. These are just receivers that the Eagles didn't have that they needed. Josh Adams, though, runs the ball in. Nice little touchdown you do. No reception this time after that last drive where he just threw that bad interception. I mean, it happens sometimes. Taking a commanding 17-7 point lead, though. Chris Long gets in for the first sack. For the Eagles on the day so far, I mean, Chargers got two sacks, we got one sack. Hand his ball off to Melvin Gordon. Melvin Gordon's going to get a nice, pretty much, what was that, 15-yard run right there? I mean, it's close enough to 15 yards, am I right? Chris Long coming in again, second sack of the game. Is pass rush finally getting in there. His team lives and dies by the pass rush. I mean, we're going to hand the ball off to Darren Sproles, and Darren Sproles is going to kind of fumble the ball in the red zone. That is something we couldn't afford to happen. Only up by 10 points. They're going to find them Keenan Allen right there. He's going to get down to the 5-yard line. And this is not where the Eagles want to be right now. The Eagles don't want to be here. The Eagles can't afford to let them score. They the need to pretty much shut them out. You know, first and goal right now. Hand the ball off to Melvin Gordon. Melvin Gordon's going to run the ball up the middle. Fight some defenders. Get in there for the touchdown. And this now is a one-score game. Hand the ball off to Josh Adams. Darren Sproles is going to take a seat. He needs a breather. The young, fresh legs. Just going to run the ball up the middle, you know. Darren Sproles back out here again, you know. We're just going to run some time off the clock. That's all we can do right now. If we score, we score. But we do need to run the clock down. I mean, we've run a lot of clock. We're down to, what is it? Just just over three minutes left right there. Third and goal on the one-yard line. We're going to be throwing the ball to Zach Ertz. And Ertz is going to dance across the goal line right there. He's going to eat real quick. And that's what we need, a 24, back to a two-score uh, two lead, 24-14 lead, you know, two and a half minutes left in the game. I mean, we're forcing the Chargers to march down the field, not burn any timeouts, and this right there, that's going to seal a victory right there. I guarantee it for this Eagles team. Only up by two scores, forces a fumble pretty much in their red zone, so we're automatically in field goal range. Hand this ball off to Darren Sproles, and Darren Sproles is going to force them to burn their timeouts. I mean, they needed to save these timeouts to the next drive, that next offensive possession. First and goal, though, hand the ball off to Darren Sproles, and Sproles going to get in for his first career Super Bowl touchdown. 30-14 lead right now by the Eagles after the next point. It's going to be 31-14. Commanding lead by this Eagles team. And his team isn't done yet. Phillip Rivers, another bad throw. This time to Sidney Jones intercepted. And for a team that, you know, was fighting back, this team had a chance to win this game. Fumbled it. Threw an interception on back-to-back -back drives. We're going to kneel it out. Doug Pearson, Philadelphia, Carson Wentz. 
we're celebrating again back to back Super Bowl champions, Philadelphia Eagles. You know, Goddard's gonna mob Michael, uh, Malcolm Jenkins in the center of the game or center of the field right now. Gonna congratulate the Chargers. You know, they deserve to be here. They had a great season. Phillip Rivers, though, probably his last chance at a Super Bowl. There really was. And, you know, he just ran into a really hot Eagles team, a team that, you know, had a pass rush, had a, you know, had a defense that was unlike anyone else. And that's, you see right there, you know, Chris Long won the uh, MVP of the Super Bowl, three tackles, three sacks, you know, forced to fumble. But we're going to host the trophy. Carson Wentz. Officially wins his first Super Bowl ring. Jordan Hicks, Alshon Jeffrey, Darren Sproles, Carson Wentz celebrate with Doug Peterson as they hoist the Lombardi Trophy for the city to rejoice, the city to, you know, have another parade, back to back parades. I mean, but are they a dynasty though? Take a quick look. One touchdown, one interception for Wentz. Heavily run game, 200 yards for Darren Sproles. 30 for Wentz, 19 for Adams, 3 a touchdown for Milata. Aguilar also had a couple of rushing yards. Alshon Jeffrey, 49, Ertz, 42, Wallace, you know, pretty decent, you know, receiving numbers. Two sacks a one by Pierce, one by jo uh, Johnson. You know, Ryan McLean led the team in tackles, three tackles. I mean, look at that. Just look at, look at these teams. One interception for Sidney Jones, kicking. Uh, one for two for Jake Elliott. Jake Elliott had the early one blocked. But before the own extra points made and the attempts. Got some quick upgrades right here. While we're doing guys, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. You guys can subscribe to plays down below. Definitely peace out. Rock on YouTube and stay classy, I guess.